back cover of the CD and also in um, Rolling Stone magazine, you hold a guitar in your hands. Yep. So I wonder, uh, do you play instruments at all? I mean, when you're at home writing songs? Well, funnily enough, I did start playing. I played guitar when I first started writing music. And, and then I sort of stopped practicing and gave up playing for a really long time. And I wrote music with other musicians. But um, this past year, uh, my boyfriend gave me a guitar as a present, oh, yeah. and I started taking guitar lessons again. So, yeah, what about the piano? I heard something about the piano. I took piano lessons when I was a little girl, but I haven't played in years. I mean, I know basic music theory, but I don't play. But does it help you when you write the songs? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can write songs without them at all. I can write them in my head. called uh, Mirwag, um, French producer Mirwag, to work with you. I mean, what exactly in his work attracted you and what sort of collaboration were you looking for when you called him? I liked, um, I liked the minimalism of his production. I liked the way he um, processed the guitar sound in his stuff. And there was an element of sadness and melancholy in his, in his own music. Um, and there was something funky about his music, so I liked all those things. Yeah, you said melancholic, but like, uh, music is a very positive CD. Mm -hmm. when you it is, to it, but like, not a lot of the other songs aren't. But uh, there are also many love songs, dance songs. Mm -hmm. I think that, um, I think for the most part, most songs on this album are just straightforward love songs. They're, yeah. a, bit, they're a bit simpler, more to the point. Yeah. Yeah, not more, so abstract. More direct. Was William Orbit at all jealous when you called me away to work with um, you? No, I don't think so, because when I first started working with William Orbit, I said to him, I don't know what I want to do. Let's just go in the studio and try stuff and see what happens. And then I told him that I wanted to work with somebody else, and he and I he, I played him some of the stuff, and he loved it, and he was very supportive of it. And you also do this with your music videos. You don't always call the same director. Although you called Jonas Ackerman to do the... the yeah, I mean, I like to work with people I like on, you know, many occasions, but I don't do the same things with them. I like to find people who I find are really creative anyways and I send them the song and basically I say you know I tend to give them a little bit of a direction to go in and then sometimes I get sent treatments that are completely off the wall and have nothing to do with what we end up doing and sometimes there's something in it that sends us in a direction.
for this uh, music video specifically, music, uh, Jonas come on, let's do something. And Jonas sent five different ideas and I felt, felt that all of them were inappropriate because I was pregnant at the time. So then I came up with the idea of, of a kind of a spoof, uh, you know, a Puff Daddy and all the rap yeah. videos, of, you know, <laughs> a, a night out on the town with my friends. And, and, uh, and then Jonas, once I gave him that direction, he added things to that. to look at you as a revolutionary person. They say that you can't do the masturbation scene tonight, otherwise you'll be arrested. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm changing my show. I feel that I don't have to do much for people to look at me and think I'm doing something that's unconventional. Whoa, whoa. I don't really feel pressure from society to be revolutionary. I think that's that's the pressure I put on myself. Veronica. Romance. said that you always like to avoid repetition. When it, when it comes to expression, and self-expression, artistic expression, I think it's boring to repeat yourself. I think that's the essence of art. You can't repeat yourself. Yeah, that's why you work with so many different people. Mm -hmm. Nobody talks about this on film? Talks about what? The insanity of doing this all on a documentary. It, it is a well, this is a serious matter, your throat, yes? Why should I stop here? And when the music starts And music, uh, the album, has leaked uh, on Napster, you know, before mm -hmm. it's released. Mm -hmm. And now the, the music world seems to be divided into, into the ones that are pro and the ones who are against. Do you have any thoughts? I mean, thoughts? do you take any position? I don't, I don't take a position. No, but what do you think of Napster? Um, to tell you the truth, I don't really know enough about it to have an opinion. I mean, you know, there's there's one way to look at it and say this is a great way to bring music to people that you know people who normally would not have their music be heard and then on the other hand it's you know some people say oh well it's not fair to have something the only thing that bothered me about it was that you know i don't like things that i'm that aren't finished to be on napster i want the finished that's product. what happened with you yeah so um but you know it's a cyber world we live in yeah, so. <laughs> you can't stop them. Either. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What do you know about Brazilian music? Um, like... Tropicalia, Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brazil 66. Yeah. <laughs> I love that stuff. That's where, that really influenced me on my last record. Oh. There's a song on um, Ray of Light called... Um, to have and not to hold that was influenced by um, Astrid Gilberto and the whole Brazil 66 sound. Yeah. Yeah. To have and not to hold. Anything newer or that you have to refer? Because you have, you have now a Maverick uh, Latin. Yeah. No, Latin not, nothing Latin. new. No, I mean, no? we have, we are looking for Latin artists to sign, but I can't think of a, a, a Brazilian group now offhand that. That, whose name I could mention. Betty Garbo and Monroe, Dietrich.
Patrick and DiMaggio, Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean, Grace Kelly, Hollow Jean, picture of a beauty queen, Jean Kelly, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, dance on air, they had style, they had grace, Rita Hayworth, a good face, Lauren, Catherine, Latitude, Betty Davis, we love you, ladies with an attitude, Ellen, that we're in the mood, don't just stand there, let's get to it, strike the pose, there's nothing to it. something about like a club floor mm -hmm. yeah is it true I mean they're going mm -hmm. can we expect something bigger no it's because it's it's really just a small kind of promotional tour for my record I mean the, the bigger tour would happen later on will it happen yeah yeah, and I'll be in Brazil. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you that. Is Brazil on your map? Oh, my God. The best, the, 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 my, one of my favorite shows from my last tour was in Brazil. I heard you saying bunda suja and you know what's... Oh, you know, I, uh, had to I have to brush up on my Portuguese before <laughs> I get there. Everybody. for granted you're not going to perform any of your old songs. Material Girl, Like a Virgin. Like a surgeon. some old songs. I don't know how far back I'm going to go, but I'll definitely do some of my old songs. Can you tell me one? No. <laughs> no. It's going to be a surprise. No. Exactly. You have, to, you, know, you have to come and see the show. Oh, I will, definitely. If you, even if you tell me, I will. <laughs> I kept my promise Don't 
Any film projects that you have? Um, nothing that I could talk about. I mean, there's a couple of scripts that I'm really interested in and that I would love to do, but, you know, it's so much harder to get a movie made than it is to get a record made, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Look at me. I'm not 24 anymore. I'm not even 34 anymore, so what? 1989. Maybe I'd like to have a family before it's too late. 1999. You don't need to have a man to have a child. This is the 21st century. <laughs> but you get many scripts. Like yeah, I mean, I read lots of scripts. You read? And I get offered scripts, but I just, you know, I just think none of them are good enough for me. Yeah, why not? I mean, what, what sort of uh, things do, do you get? Because I, you know, I want to, I only want to do something that I feel really, really passionate about, that I think is really, really special. And, I mean, look at the movies that are made right now. You know, I mean, are they really great? Are a lot of them really great? Are a lot of them really special? No. The winner is... Madonna! Sorry, just kidding. Anything with Guy Ritchie? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to big up the missus um, for winning so many awards and uh, keeping young Rocco in diapers. I would like to thank my fans and everybody at MTV for years and years of support. Um, Ali G, you'll be in trouble when I get older. Yeah? She has consistently produced work that is worthy of masturbation. For speaking about my woman like that. I tell you, that Madonna is one sexy bitch, isn't she? So pick it up for the foxiest woman on the planet, my main bitch, Maradona. Pick up yourself. Go, go, go. Rewind. surprised when you baptized uh, Lourdes in the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen? Why? The, uh, because when like a prayer was released, you know, all the problems with the church. <laughs> was baptized and, uh, yeah but she was baptized because I'm a Catholic and that's what I wanted if other people feel that m m you know my music is controversial or the Catholic Church has a problem with my music that's their problem it's not my point of view mm -hmm. um, and I you know I don't think that actually I think that's hip hypocritical um, because Christian behavior is is you know loving your neighbor as yourself and not being judgmental <laughs> Is Rocco also going to be baptized? Well, I'm not sure about that because um, because his father is Church of England, so I'm not sure. He'll be baptized. I'm just not sure what church he'll be baptized yeah. in.
Well, it's been an honor, and uh, I wish you the best luck, you know, in your future projects. Music, movies, you know, theater, whatever. Okay, Thank gardening. You so much. Gardening. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.